Hi guys. We hope all of you are doing good. Today we are going to talk about United States 6th generation fighter program, that is NGAD, or next generation air dominance. So, let's start. The next generation air dominance or NGAD is a United States Air Force 6th generation air superiority initiative with the goal of fielding a family of systems, that is to succeed the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. As per information, a manned fighter aircraft is the centerpiece program of NGAD and has been referred to as the FX or penetrating counter air and is to be supported by uncrewed loyal wingman platforms through manned and unmanned teaming. The NGAD originates from DARPA's Air Dominance Initiative study in 2014 and is expected to field the new fighter aircraft in the 2030s. While having an identical name and sharing some technology developments, the program is distinct from the US Navy's NGAD program, which has the FAXX as its fighter component and would have a similar fielding time frame. Also as per some authentic sources, the US Air Force is developing a futuristic 6th generation fighter that will be compatible with emerging technologies which can be incorporated into it over time without disturbing the aircraft's primary flight system. The flight control software for the Air Force's next generation fighter is being constructed separately from the software that governs its mission systems, a unique feature that the service's top general claims will allow the aircraft to be updated with new technologies more swiftly. During a roundtable with reporters, Air Force Chief of Staff General C.Q. Brown stated that the approach for the next generation air dominance program is one that the service has not followed in any of its previous fighters. The NGAD 6th generation fighter from the United States has recently received a boost in the recent defense budget proposal that calls for more research and development funding, potentially to aid the newfangled warplane. There is very little information about the NGAD in the public domain. While the NGAD's status as a top secret special access program is one obvious reason for the lack of information about it, the program's decoupled software approach raises the possibility that even those with insider knowledge of the NGAD aircraft won't be able to predict what kinds of novel technology will be deployed. According to Brown, decoupling the flight control and mission system software would allow the Air Force to incorporate new technologies that are already in development as long as they fit within the aircraft and match weight, power, and cooling requirements. NGAD is one of the seven operational imperatives that have been outlined for US Air Force future. Under this framework, the NGAD is critical for confronting the difficulties posed by increasing Chinese and Russian threats. This category might include for example, the ability to carry hypersonic weapons, which the US is aggressively developing. Besides the US, only China and Russia have operational fifth generation fighter jets, whereas several other countries are in the process of developing and launching their own fighters. Though China is probably already working on its sixth generation fighter aircraft, it potentially trails behind the US, which has already developed and tested a prototype. Also, last year in October, a mysterious tailless vehicle was spotted at the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation's factory airfield, which is believed to be a demonstrator or a mock-up of man 6th generation fighter jet. According to Chinese military aviation expert Andreas Ruprecht, there have been some credible rumors of a 6th generation man fighter project that aims for service entry around 2035. If the Chinese adhere to that timeline, a maiden flight could occur at least by 2026-28. The tailless design significantly enhances broadband's low observability against many radar types operating across frequencies. It also reduces the aircraft radar signature from the side and rear view beyond the head-on aspect. Another feature of a tailless design concept is better efficiency via reduced drag for sustained high-speed flight and cruising. In 2020, the US Air Force revealed that it had designed, built, and tested a top-secret fighter plane in just a year. The fighter is part of the Air Force's NGAD program, which intends to replace the F-22 Raptor by 2030. It was announced that the service plans to retire 33 of its older F-22 fighter jets. These jets are reportedly no longer combat capable and are solely used for training. As part of the NGAD program, the US Air Force has decided to shift that cost to research cutting-edge combat jet designs, especially NGAD.